Chapter 2 is a 2019 American supernatural horror film and the sequel to the 2017 film It, both based on the 1986 novel by Stephen King. The film is directed by Andy Muschietti and written by Gary Doberman. Set in 2016, 27 years after the first film, it stars Jessica Chastain, James McAvoy, Bill Hader, Isaiah Mustafa, James Ransom, and Andy Bean as the adult versions of the Losers Club. Jaden Martell, Sophia Lillis, Finn Wolfhard, Chosen Jacobs, Jeremy Ray Taylor, Jack Dylan Grazer, and Wyatt Olaf reprise their roles as the younger losers while Bill Skarsgård also returns as Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Talks for an IT sequel began in February 2016. By September 2017, New Line Cinema announced that it would be released in September 2019, with Doberman writing the script and Muschietti to direct. Principal photography began in June 2018 at Pinewood Toronto Studios and on locations in and around Port Hope, Oshawa, and Toronto, Ontario, and wrapped on October 31st, 2018. The film was produced by New Line Cinema and Vertigo Entertainment. It Chapter 2 premiered at the Regency Village Theatre in Los Angeles on August 26, 2019 and was theatrically released in the United States by Warner Brothers Pictures on September 6, 2019. It Chapter 2 received praise for its acting, particularly Hater and Skarsgård, and themes. Though criticism was aimed at its runtime and weaker scares compared to its predecessor, its faithfulness to the novel also drew both praise and criticism. In 2016, Derry, Maine, Adrian Mellon and his boyfriend Don Haggerty are attacked by a group of homophobic youths. Adrian is then thrown from a bridge and killed by Pennywise the Dancing Clown, while Don watches helplessly. Mike Hanlon overhears the incident on a police scanner and rushes to the scene. Upon realizing that it has resurfaced, he calls the other members of the Losers Club. Bill Denbro, Ben Haskam, Beverly Marsh, Richie Tozier, Eddie Kasprak, and Stanley Urris back to Derry. Most are amnesiac about their childhoods and disturbed by the calls, but agree to return. Stanley, however, commits suicide after his call. The losers reunite at a local restaurant and slowly begin to recover their memories, but are terrified by disturbing visions and taunts caused by it. The group is then informed of Stanley's suicide. Richie and Eddie decide to leave, while Mike reveals to Bill that he met with a Native American tribe who showed him a vision of it arriving to Earth from the stars, and informed him of the ritual of Chewed, a way of destroying it once and for all. Bill and Mike convince Richie and Eddie to stay and finish what was started. Henry Bowers, having survived his apparent death, has been confined to a mental hospital, but with the help of it, he escapes. For the ritual to work, each loser must have an artifact from their past. Beverly goes to her old home and finds the love letter Ben wrote for her, though she still believes Bill wrote it. Bill goes to the storm drain where Georgie was killed and recovers Georgie's paper boat before meeting a boy named Dean, who tells Bill that he lives in Bill's old house and often hears voices of children and a clown coming from the shower drain. Ben goes to the town's high school and finds his old yearbook page, which Beverly was the only person to sign. Eddie goes to a pharmacy and recovers an inhaler. Richie goes to an abandoned arcade where he finds a game token. After escaping individual encounters with it, the losers use a shower cap from their childhood clubhouse for Stanley 
and Mike finds the rock that started their fight against the Bowers gang years prior. Bill realizes that It is going after Dean and rushes to a carnival to save him, but he helplessly watches Dean be devoured by It right in front of him. Traumatized by his failure to save both Georgie and Dean, he returns to the Kneebolt house to murder It. Bowers attacks and wounds Eddie and Mike, but is killed by Richie. The rest of the losers depart for the Kneebolt house to help Bill. The group descends into a massive cavern beneath the sewers and complete the ritual, but It is able to withstand the ritual unaffected. It takes on a giant spider-like form with Pennywise's head and pressures Mike into revealing to the losers that the natives who attempted the ritual in the past all perished. The losers are then thrown into nightmarish scenarios that they all eventually escape from before arriving back in the cavern. Richie is paralyzed by its hypnotic deadlights and is about to be killed, but Eddie saves him, being impelled by it in the process. The losers regroup and realize it can be killed if they stand up to him and make him feel smaller than he actually is. They surround and insult it over and over, making him physically shrink and weaken until they are able to tear out his heart and crush it, killing it. Eddie dies from his injuries despite Richie's attempts to save him. The remaining losers are forced to escape as the Kneebolt house crashes in on itself. The remaining losers return to the quarry where they once swam together. Beverly, who has realized it was Ben who wrote the letter, shares a kiss with him, and the two start a romantic relationship. Richie returns to the bridge where he had once carved his initials and those of another person, now revealed to be Eddie. Mike decides to move out of Derry to start a new life. The losers all receive posthumous letters from Stanley, explaining that he believed he would have held them back, but knew they could defeat it if they were brave without him. On February 16, 2016, producer Roy Lee, in an interview with Collider, mentioned a second IT film, remarking, Doberman wrote the most recent draft working with Muschietti, so it's being envisioned as two movies. On July 19, 2017, Muschietti revealed that production was set to begin in the spring of 2018, adding, We'll probably have a script for the second part in January 2018. Ideally, we would start prep in March. Part one is only about the kids. Part two is about these characters 27 years later as adults, with flashbacks to 1989 when they were kids. On July 21st, 2017, Muschietti spoke of looking forward to having a dialogue in the second film that does not exist within the first, stating, it seems like we're going to do it. It's the second half, it's not a sequel. It's the second half and it's very connected to the first one. Muschietti stated that two cutscenes from the first film will possibly be included in the second, one of which being the fire at the black spot from the book. On September 25, 2017, New Line Cinema announced that the sequel would be released on September 6, 2019, with Gary Doberman and Jeffrey Jurgensen writing the script. Andy Muschietti returned to direct. In an interview in July 2017, the child actors from the first film were asked which actors they would choose to play them in the sequel. Sophia Lillis chose Jessica Chastain, and Finn Wolfhard chose Bill Hader, both of whom would end up cast in those roles. In September 2017, Muschietti and his sister mentioned that Chastain would be their top choice to play the adult version of Beverly Marsh. In November 2017, Chastain herself expressed interest in the project. Finally, in February 2018, Chastain officially joined the cast to portray the character, making the film her second collaboration with Muschietti after Mama. By April 2018, Hayter and James McAvoy were in talks to join the cast to play adult versions of Richie Tozier and Bill Denbro, respectively. In May 2018, James Ranson, Jay Ryan, and Andy Bean joined the cast to portray adult versions of Eddie Kasprick, Ben Haskam, and Stanley Uris, respectively. In June 2018, Isaiah Mustafa joined as the adult version of Mike Hanlon, while Xavier Dolan and Will Beinbrink were also cast as Adrian Mellon and Tom Rogan, respectively. Later, Teach Grant was cast to play the adult version of Henry Bowers, played by Nicholas Hamilton. 
and Jess Weixler was also cast as Bill's wife. This is the second collaboration between McAvoy, Chastain, Hader, Weixler, and Beinbrink after the disappearance of Eleanor Rigby. In September 2018, it was revealed that Javier Botet would appear in the film. He played It Forms, Hobo the Leper, and The Witch. Principal photography on the film began on June 19, 2018 at Pinewood Toronto Studios. The sewer system set was constructed at Pinewood. Much of the location work was done in and around Port Hope during summer 2018. Signs and decor were changed as necessary. The town hall exterior was used as the dairy library. Some exterior shots of the hotel were filmed at the town's Hotel Carlisle. Some interiors were filmed at a 1902 mansion in Toronto, Cranfield House, while homes in the city and in Oshawa and Pickering were used as exteriors. An old mansion set was built for exteriors of the Pennywise home and later burned in Oshawa. The synagogue in the film was actually the congregation Nesseth Israel in Toronto, Derry High School exteriors were filmed at the Mount Mary Retreat Center in Ancaster, Ontario. Other locations used by the production included the Elora Quarry Conservation Area, the Scottish Rite Club in Hamilton, Ontario, Audley Park in Ajax, Ontario, and the Mandarin Restaurant in Mississauga's Malton area. Filming concluded in early November 2018 after 86 days of production. The visual effects were provided by Atomic Arts and Method Studios. They were supervised by Brooke Linden Stanford, Justice Cornish, and Josh Simmons, as well as Nicholas Brooks as the production supervisor. With help from Cubica Lola VFX, Make VFX, Rodeo FX, and Soho VFX, the teenage actors were digitally de-aged to match their respective ages during filming of the first film. It Chapter 2 had its world premiere at the Regency Village Theater in Los Angeles, California on August 26, 2019, and was theatrically released in the United States on September 6, 2019 by Warner Brothers Pictures. The first image of the adult versions of the Losers Club was released on July 2, 2018, as principal photography began. The first teaser poster of the film was released on October 31, 2018. Footage from the film was shown at the CinemaCon on April 2, 2019. A second teaser poster was released on May 9, 2019, along with a teaser trailer. On July 17, 2019, the second poster and the final trailer were released at San Diego Comic-Con. As of September 15, 2019, IT Chapter 2 has grossed $153.8 million in the United States and Canada and $169.5 million in other territories for a worldwide total of $323.3 million. In the United States and Canada, the film was projected to gross $90 to $100 million for 4,570 theaters in its opening weekend and the week of its release broke Fandango's record for most advanced tickets sold by a horror film. The film made $37.4 million in its first day, including $10.5 million from Thursday night previews, the second highest total for both a September opening and horror film, behind the first film's $13.5 million. It went on to debut to $91 million, also the second best ever for a horror film and a September release while being over $30 million less than the first film. The lower debut was attributed to a more mixed critical reception, as well as the nearly three-hour runtime, which exhibitors said curbed business. It made $40.7 million in its second weekend, retaining the top spot. On Rotten Tomatoes, the film holds an approval rating of 62% based on 322 reviews, with an average rating of 6.1 out of 10. The website's critical consensus reads, 
It Chapter 2 proves bigger doesn't always mean scarier for horror sequels, but a fine cast and faithful approach to the source material keep this follow-up afloat. On Metacritic, which uses a weighted average, the film has a score of 58 out of 100, based on 52 critics, indicating mixed or average reviews. Audiences polled by CinemaScore gave the film an average grade of B+, on an A+, to F scale, the same as the first film. While those at post-track gave it an overall positive score of 76% and a 56% definite recommend. Writing for the Chicago Sun-Times, Richard Roper praised the production design and cast, but said the film was not as scary as the first, specifying for all of Muschietti's visual flourishes and with the greatly talented Bill Skarsgård again delivering a madcap, disturbing, effective, all-in performance as the dreaded Pennywise, It Chapter 2 had a relatively mooted impact on me. Variety's Peter de Bruges wrote, The clown is back and the kids have grown up in part two of Stephen King's monster novel, which inspires an overlong but suitably scary sequel. While Christy Lemire of RogerEbert.com gave the film two and a half out of four stars, stating that It Chapter Two can be a sprawling, unwieldy mess, overlong, overstuffed, and full of frustrating detours. But its casting is so spot on. Its actors have such great chemistry and its monster effects are so deliriously ghoulish that the film keeps you hooked. Katie Rife of the AV Club gave the film a grade of C+, praising Hayter's performance but summarizing, What a shame, than to build this beautiful stage, populate it with talented actors and high-level craftspeople, and then drop them all through the trapdoor of plotting humor and scattershot plotting. Aja Romano of Vox called the film well-made and entertaining, but criticized what she termed the lack of chemistry between members of the adult cast and wrote that the film muddles the message of the novel on which it is based. Rich Jezwiak of Jezebel gave the film a negative review, calling it meandering and a movie that has no sense of its rules. <laughs>